Hey, SITC fam. If you like what you're hearing, don't forget to rate us five stars on any podcast platform. Leave us a review wherever you can. And don't forget to subscribe to LL Giselle on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram and find us on Facebook at Sonographers in the Cities. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Sonographers in the Cities. I'm Lynn. And I'm Giselle. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Welcome back for another episode. Hope you guys are having a good March so far. We hope you guys really liked last week's episode. I guess you guys didn't know. Some of you guys didn't know what a clinical application specialist was. So I hope that you guys learned a lot from that episode. Yes, last week was an informative one. And I hope that this episode would be another informative one because it is a follow-up episode from our two episodes prior. Mm -hmm. And what was that, Giselle? So that episode, uh, that was about struggles as a sonography student. And you guys all shared your experiences as a sonography student. So thank you for sharing. Um, This is a community for you guys to be open and for us to talk openly about the things we're all going through and struggling with. And you guys need to know you're not alone. And that's why Lynn and I have this podcast to talk about all things ultrasound. So. Today's episode is stemming off of that one, and you guys really liked it. We've got some insight from you guys, and one of the things you guys asked about is confidence, and confidence comes along with that prior episode. It is one of the struggles, I would say, as a sonography student. Wouldn't you agree? I totally agree. As a sonography student and as a new grad. And continuing on. (laughs) <laughs> on and beyond <laughs> on and on and beyond and you know what that's okay and we want everyone to know that confidence gets built with time and it's right it's not going to come right away so what is your first initial thought on confidence that I'm not going to get there until a very long time well let's see Lynn how long have you been doing this now not long since Wait, what are we counting when I start the program or uh, when I start working? Let's let's say when you started working. When I started working, um, would you count clinicals or? I would say because people will ask you when it comes to this job yes. or career, the confidence in in building it takes time. So mm-hmm. we all know that once you graduate from clinicals and school and your program your confidence is still being built so let's say after clinicals for right now so after the program since 2022 okay so so that's a little bit more than a year so it's very short yeah yeah Mm -hmm. my confidence is still not there yet I was gonna say, I was but, gonna say, you are you. We would expect you to be very confident, though, the way you present yourself, right? Yes, but I know my anatomy, so that's the only confidence I have. Like I know my um the basics. There you go. That's good. So that's the minimum confidence that I have. But you still have confidence in something. Yes, and there's still room to grow your confidence. Exactly. And now when you compare you to almost two years, you're not really two two full years yet as working in your career. Mm-hmm. Um, let's say I graduated in 2017, 2020, 20, 24. So seven Almost years, seven years. Mm-hmm. But I had that year in clinical. So another year. So if you're not counting that as seven, because as a, in clinicals, you are building your confidence. As a Mm -hmm. student, you're building any ounce of confidence, just something. And we know that these programs in the country, some of them are built for that and some of them are not built for that, but it's not the programs. It's the clinical sites. Mm -hmm. So if you are only at a clinical site for an X amount of time, how are you going to build your confidence there? Right. 
and I've been doing this for seven years, I kept hearing you won't get your confidence until at least five years as a fully fledged scanning sonographer. I don't know what everyone else is saying out there. That's the one thing I always say, just because my my preceptors and my the people who taught me everything tell me that. Mm-hmm. And um, that's, for me, it actually happened after five years where your confidence in your scanning, your scanning skills takes time. Like you are very confident in your anatomy. That's very, very good. To be a good sonographer, you need to be confident in anatomy. That's all we do. All we should know is anatomy, but on top of that anatomy, you need to have your scanning skills and the confidence in that. Right. So confidence is in all different aspects. And I like the way that you say that you you still have room for confidence to boost and to grow. Mm -hmm. And we hear a lot of these concerns from students where they're like, when will, when did the confidence come to you? When will it come to me? When will I be confident? I need to work on my confidence. So what are these tips that you would say for students that are currently in clinicals? Because I see it from all the students that are in clinicals that are saying this stuff. So obviously this podcast, you guys are listening. A majority of you guys are aspiring to be sonographers or you are currently in sonography school. So what would you say to them? I would say that like what you said before confidence takes time and with this doing this um with time in the site that you're at or the place that you work um the more you get familiar with the protocols the setting the patients the workflow you get more comfortable and your confidence increase and then you know if you move to a different site, a different workplace, you start all over again because it's a new place, new protocol, new work environment. So it's constantly, constantly, you know, a, a roller coaster. So you go up, you get confident, and then you go to a new place, back down again. But the confidence of you knowing your stuff should always be the same because it should never change, right? It only right. changes if there's a you know changes in the field yeah that's that's a good way to put it environmental changes Mm -hmm. I mean working with different doctors working with different sonographers around you um some of us are lucky enough to be at the same place forever but that is probably not the case for many of you guys you won't start at a clinical site and be there forever. You're going to be uncomfortable. It's better, honestly, in my opinion, to go work everywhere and anywhere to learn and to see everything and to get confidence in yourself as a sonographer. But that, again, takes time and years and experience. So it's it's actually interesting because a lot of the people who come to me with this question are students in clinicals. Mm -hmm. It's not so much people who are out in the field that already graduated, who are at their places because their confidence is growing Mm -hmm. while they're there. And so if you are someone that had a hard time in clinicals, uh, which is the majority of the people who ask this question, just remember, it's probably not you. It's the place that you're at or the people around you or surrounding you, teaching you, helping you. Because that's what the clinical site is all about. Natalie Avney posted recently a a reel about preceptors and Mm -hmm. just being excited for the student. Did you see that? I saw it. It's like the overly supportive preceptor. (laughs) Yeah, overly supportive preceptor. I reposted it. I said it's giving my kind of energy. Mm -hmm. only because I think that students need the validation that they are doing well to gain more confidence Mm -hmm. and maybe people aren't getting that maybe I mean the students that I have right now they tell me about you know like they're they're not there are things happens in clinical sites or um you know out there that doesn't align with what they're learning so they're losing confidence and it, it's 
it's a, a process, you know, it's a learning curve. It's a process that you have to go through. It's part of the program. Yeah. And part of the program. For mm -hmm. sure. When they tell me that I'm like, I had the same with when I was in clinicals, so I can totally relate to that. And we're not alone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's what we're here for. And we want you guys to know that you're not alone. So if you really do need to reach out, um, you can always reach out to us, our DMs, our emails. Um, we're on Facebook, Instagram, in our Discord. And sometimes it's easier to just explain your situation to somebody anybody who's willing to listen so you can mm -hmm. help get that confidence boost you got to remember your why why you're doing this first of all that's kind of where everything falls back to even when I'm here in my career trying to figure out what I want to do I'm still trying to figure out my confidence levels on certain things sometimes it has nothing to do with my scanning anymore it has to do with my mental thoughts mm -hmm. about myself and the environment but sometimes you just have to remember and tell yourself that this is part of the career building confidence and having that confidence just will always take time and it's going to it's never linear and it should always it's going to always be up and down no matter what no matter what career you go into even in nursing there's there's just so much to learn, so much to know that I feel like you can't be a hundred percent in all ways, all the time, 24 seven. Totally agree. And uh, I was just thinking about, you know, my last workplace, like in the beginning, I wasn't as confident because I've never worked before. And then um, as time goes on, I got more comfortable, used to the protocols and how the workflow is, and then I would slowly build my confidence. But then there's time when I feel that it's time to move on because I can only be so comfortable and I need the challenge, you know? So I think that's also a good reason to move on to a new place, and that's how you know it's time to move on. Like you need to further yourself. You need to better yourself. You need to find a place that challenges you. So coming to a new place, you'll definitely be challenged because, you know, new work environment, new coworkers, new work setting. I was working with, you know, a group of sonographers who does the same thing. Now I have my own room and working with nurses, um, office managers, just diff uh, RPNs. And peas providers, so it's just a different environment, which is challenging because I'm learning to adapt, and it's exciting as well. Yeah, and and you're not gonna go in there like a hundred percent confident because you're still learning, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. And you're you've been doing this for some time now. You're out on your own. Once you guys graduate, like it's all on you. And there's no mm -hmm. preceptor or teacher, professor, anyone holding your hand. And a lot of you guys are just learning and navigating your way throughout right. this process. And it's normal. And every single it's normal. Yeah, every single DM that I, that I get, I'm like, no, that's about right. You, your your feelings are validated. If you right. are not confident just takes time you got to keep practicing got to keep scanning and you really need to just believe in yourself and don't let negativity get to your head and I'm talking to myself too <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question for you Giselle yeah do you specifically remember a moment or a time where you got to that point of you know being confident because you said that um, it takes five years. Did yours happen at your fifth year, or like when was that moment that you're like, I'm confident about myself as a yeah. sonographer? Sonographer. So these were like there's two topics actually I wanted to bring up in my career, which is one. Someone asked me this a long time ago. Um, after what I was doing it for maybe a couple of years, they said, "How long did it take you to be confident? You know, as a student in clinicals." Mm -hmm. 
I am a lucky one that got to be at the same place for about a year. So I got to scan every day, five days a week. Like if, if I'm scanning every day, five days a week, of course, I'm going to get confident. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be confident way more than the person that's getting two, two times a week of scanning, right. sometimes not even being able to scan. Right. Mm-hmm. So my level of confidence grew so much faster in my clinical site. That is going to help you if you are scanning all the time, working all the time, your confidence will build. So as a student, I can confidently say. I was confident in scanning in general and being by myself within seven months. So, and I was eager to learn. I really wanted to do this. I have the right mindset, right? Because not everyone has the right mindset for this. Mm -hmm. Uh, But when I had asked my supervisor at the time, this is when he told me, you know, it usually takes five years for someone to be confident because you have to make those mistakes. You have to create all these issues in the field for you to go through so that you grow from those and you become more confident from every single mistake you made so I thought I was confident in the first couple years nope I still doubted myself I still had a lot of things going on I think if you want to become a travel stenographer you need to be pretty confident because that's why they say you need at least like two years of experience but I think five because you will Mm -hmm. be thrown out anywhere where you have to learn right away and you can't just be like asking questions all the time especially if you're traveling and they need you to cover so when I say five years honestly yes it happened right around after five years I was per diem for about four years still learning still working in a lot of different places when I finally went full-time that's when I noticed you know all these things I was in one place only. I was learning all the stuff, the protocols, the environment. I was on graveyard and I totally, totally made a mistake. I did a whole video on this. It's on my YouTube channel, so you can check it out. But I hope I made a whole video about the process of what happened that night. And this night is the night that I say that I confidently you know, knew what I was doing, knew what I was looking at. And um, I let self-doubt and everything like that come into my brain. And Mm -hmm. the next day and the weeks on after that is when I realized I'm pretty confident in what I'm doing and how I'm scanning. Yes, I will make mistakes, but I'm confident in the scans and the process and myself as a sonographer. And that did take after five years. So it it was a moment where my supervisor, my preceptor, the people I spoke with about it, like it was a moment where I was like, I I should just not let other people convince me otherwise and just know mm-hmm. that I know what I'm doing. And you guys will all get there to a place where you know what you're doing. I think if you, if you guys see out in the field, those other sonographers that are just kind of like in it because they are just doing their job, it's, it's a little bit different when you're very passionate about sonography Mm -hmm. and you can tell when somebody doesn't want like you can tell when there's a sonographer out there where they don't challenge themselves anymore. Where or... they're just comfortable with where they are. Yeah. Like it's just a paycheck to them at that point. Right. Mm-hmm. I would hope that the people who are watching our podcast and the people who are people you can go up to and talk to are people that aren't like that. If you can catch my drift of what I'm trying to say your confidence is going to be there, but there's always room to grow, always room to be better, always room to grow that confidence. Because like, yeah, I've been doing this for seven years. I'm confident in what I do. I know how to scan. I know how to work where I work. But if I quit and I go somewhere else and it's uncomfortable for me, then yeah, my confidence level is going to go back down. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just all a timing thing. Right. I can sit here and tell you I'm confident, 
but then I can get a patient that's like really hard to scan. And then I'm like, uh, whoa, what was that? Or (laughs) doesn't mean I'm not confident, but I'm confident in myself as a sonographer. I'm confident. I am comfortable at, at my job but I still challenge myself and there are days that are much harder than other days. Mm-hmm. And if, if I was somebody who was just like content um, at working somewhere, that's fine too. Um, if you don't want to challenge yourself, but we want everyone to be a better sonographer. Um, we want to make sure that everyone is being the best sonographer for them, not only themselves, but for the patients. So, right. And I know you are very confident. I can tell the way that you do things, you exude things in your in your posts, in your in our talks, you know. Um, and I think everyone should strive to be better every single day. I totally agree. Yeah. I can't beat that, so I'm not gonna say anything because that was perfect. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. No, I mean we all know it's all timing, but right I'm proud of you and you should be proud of yourself you know and how far you've come and there's still so much so much more to do thank you and I'm proud of you for overcoming what you overcame (laughs) and still (laughs) loving what you do thank you yeah it's it's definitely something I like when I really say like do something that you love like there will be hard times like Mm -hmm. And everybody knows it. Like you see all these sonographers, you guys listening, you guys see all of us that are on social media. You see that we all, we all are not perfect. You know, we all do what we love. And Mm -hmm. we also want to share the hard times and the struggles and confidence in sonography. A hundred percent is going to be the one thing we're all going to struggle with for our entire career. I think it really will for for a long time because we're human we're humans behind the probe it's not a we're not like you know robots yeah (laughs) we're not a machine and that's the thing that goes back to sonographers being so amazing and hopefully you guys resonate you guys want to become sonographers and be better sonographers and work on your confidence every day i'm I'm still here trying to work on it too so we appreciate you guys and uh we'll do it together yeah we're here together that's what we're here for uh <laughs> vent sessions yes <laughs> <laughs> well that would wrap up this episode hopefully you guys have a little takeaway from this episode and be confident in yourself today if you're listening to it you know earlier in the day if not be confident tomorrow yeah and thank you so much for tuning in And we'll see you next time. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you for connecting through sounds with us. We appreciate you and can't wait to connect with you again next time.